Okay, so we start off with first bit, Ulysses, cum ab ora septima ad vesperum expectaset. Ulysses, when he had waited from the seventh hour until the evening, cum expectaset, pluperfect subjunctive. Jonathan, do you know why? Because it's a temporal clause. Because it's a temporal clause, absolutely right. So that is going to be subjunctive because of a temporal clause. So, um, Ulysses, when he had waited until evening, uh, sorry, when he had waited from the seventh hour until evening, where he took fearing lest his allies might wear sarentor, here it uh, says might move in, might be engaged in, uh, in danger. Wear sarentor is subjunctive, Jonathan, do you know why? Verb of fearing. Verb of fearing, absolutely right. So it follows a verb of fearing, very good. Look at this next, but you need to find the subject of it, and there isn't an orb of a subset, so the misit is contained within there. He sent some e reliquis from the remainder, ut quae, in order to cognoscret, in order to learn. Why is cognoscret in the subjunctive? In order to learn? Uh, indirect command. Indirect command, is it? In order. He sent them in order that they might learn. He travelled to Delphi in order to see the Shrine of Apollo. Um, I went into town in order to um, buy bread. Is there something result, clause? Result clause? The result clause would be, uh, I think the, uh, would be the lotus flower was so, was so great that. So it's a clause expressing something. Obviously he's expressing... The purpose, purpose why he's clause. doing it, a purpose clause, clause absolutely yeah. right. Good, so it's going to be a purpose clause in order to learn quite what was the cause of the delay. Esset is subjunctive. Why is esset subjunctive? In order to learn what was the cause of the delay. Why is that subjunctive? Obviously, you could have what is the cause of the delay. That would be a question. Uh, this is indirect an question. indirect question. Good, so the quai is the bit that tells me there that we're dealing with an indirect question. So, he sent... Some of the remainder, in order to find out what was the cause of the delay, he igator, these men, expositi, having, and it uses for expono, I set out or I explain, it says in the notes at the bottom, having set out onto land, uh, they se contulerunt, you've got there, they carried themselves, they moved, ad vicum, to a village, qui, which was not far away, qui there is just the relative pronoun. Cum venisent, when they had arrived, when they had arrived, sorry, at which place? So quo there a connecting relative. Why is venisent in the subjunctive, Jonathan? Um, because it cum venisent, when they had arrived at this place. It's a, a cum clause. It's a cum clause. Cum clause. Well done. Temporal clause. Very good. They reperent socios. They found their allies. Suos socios. They found their allies quasi vino ebrios, as if drunk with wine. Tum ubi causam veniendi docuerunt. Then, when they doceo means I teach, but here we've just said tell, I think. Yes, I teach or I tell. When they told them the cause of, literally, of their coming, of their arriving. What kind of word do you think veniendi is, Jonathan, when the cause of coming? It's a gerundiv. It's a gerundiv, is it? What's it agreeing with? If it's a gerundiv, it has to agree with something. Is it agreeing with anything there? It's, it's not agreeing with anything, so it's a gerund. Well done, it's the verbal noun. So when they told... The reason of coming, they conabantur, they were trying to persuade them, they tried to persuade them to return with them to the ship. Conabantur looks like it's passive, but we said it's not they were being tried, it's they were trying. If it looks passive, but we made it active, they were trying to persuade them. Why have we made it active? Conabantur. It's a deponent verb. Very good, Jonathan. It looks passive, but it's actually active. They were trying to persuade them to return with them to the ship. Redirent is subjunctive. Why? They tried to persuade them to return. They persuaded them to return, or they tried. That's an indirect command, absolutely right. Return with us to the ship, direct command. They tried to persuade them to return with them to the ship, indirect command. Are you okay with this, Shakira? Yeah. Excellent. So, next bit. Ili, they, however, co-apparent, tried to defend themselves, ak manu, um, by force, by, by hand. Saipe clamantes, often shouting. Clamantes, shouting, what kind of word is that, Jonathan? It's a participle. It is a participle. It is a present participle. Very good. And it's plural, hence with the antes ending. They were shouting, say, literally they were shouting themselves never to be about to go from that place. That doesn't sound good. So we would say they were shouting that they, accusative, 
would never future abituros, that they would never leave from this place. Why or what is se abituros? They were shouting that they would never leave. They were shouting themselves never to be about to leave. They were shouting um, that they would never leave. Uh, future part, future part. It is a future participle here. But here, and we've almost left out the essay, which it could have been in there, but they were shouting that they would never leave. It's the same as me saying, I said that Jonathan was a year 12 student. I think that, following verbs of saying or thinking, literally, I said Jonathan, accusative. Uh, indirect, indirect. Statement. Indirect statement, well done, followed by the accusative of the say, and then the infinitive, except we've left the essay out, say, they were shouting that they would never leave the place. Quae cum ita essent, um, literally when these things were such, the messengers returned to Ulysses with the re infecta, it's got that with the, um, with the terrible matter, the re infecta, I believe it would probably give you somewhere at the bottom, has just been that with the, with the awful matter, something like that. Um, they returned, since things were in this way, they re the messengers returned to Ulysses with the, uh, literally with this stained matter, that doesn't sound good, but the awful matter. His rebus cognitis, with these things having been learnt, or in better English, having learnt these things, his cognitis, what do you think that's an example of Jonathan? Having learnt these things, with these things having been learnt. Um, is it also an indirect? No. Nope. Look at this, cognosco, as I learned, so it's with these things having... It is a perfect passive participle, and look at that ending. Look at that I-S ending. It is an ablative, absolute, absolutely right, because it is that I-S ending. So, having learned these things, ipse, he himself... Let's see, find your main verb, when it, he himself went ad locum to that place, cum omnibus, with all of them who had been left in the ship. Relicti erant. Can you tell me what tense and what voice relicti erant is? All of those who had been left. As in your tense, it's going to be present, perfect, pluperfect, and the voice is going to be active or passive. With all those who passive. had been. Passive, good. What tense? Had been left. Pluperfect. pluperfect, passive. Very good, Jonathan. With all of those who had been left at the place. Et socio suos frustra hortatus, having encouraged and having encouraged his allies in vain, hortatus, having encouraged... What kind of word is that, having encouraged? Not having been encouraged, it's having encouraged. It's a participle. It is a participle. What kind of participle? It's having encouraged. It comes from hortor, I encourage. Having encouraged. Having been heard would obviously be a perfect it's passive, passive participle. But it's not passive. So it's a perfect... It's perfect participle. It's a perfect participle. So it's not perfect passive participle, it's a perfect... Passive. Participle, or a perfect opposite of passive, perfect active participle. active participle. Good. You ask if you can have perfect, normal perfect participles. Normally when you want a perfect active participle, most verbs have perfect passive participles. So the Romans, strangely, didn't have a perfect active participle for most of their verbs. When they wanted that, they would just use an ablative absolute. Yep. Like where we said earlier on, his rebus cognitis, which was having learnt these things. So they would put it in the ablative, and they use the ablative absolute when they want to do that. Yeah, so having learnt these things, he himself went. So that's what they did. Only a few verbs get to have perfect active participles, and those are the verbs that don't have passives, that look passive but are actually active. Deponent verbs, well done. That is why, Jonathan, it is a perfect active participle. Good. So, having encouraged them in vain, ut to return of their own accord, why is redirent subjunctive, do you think? Having encouraged them to return. Could it be the indirect... Uh Command. Absolutely right. It could be an indirect command. Having encouraged them to return of their own accord, reportar wit, he carried them. I'm going to the main verb at the end of the sentence. He carried them in vitos, reluctantly, to the ship with their manibus winctis, with their hands tied behind their backs. Literally, you could say, there's your perfect active participle, Jonathan, having tied their hands behind their backs, except it is grammatically speaking a perfect passive participle. What are we doing with that? Manibus winctis, with their hands having been tied. It's what? Absolute. Ablative absolute. Good. Ablative absolute for that. Of course, you do still have ablative absolutes for perfect active participles as well. But here, having tied their hands behind their backs, he carried them reluctantly back to the ship. Tum ancoris sublatis. Then, having raised their anchors, ancoris, look at that ending again, the IS ending. Ancoris sublatis, having raised their anchors. What's that an example of? Another ablative absolute. absolute. Having raised their anchors, they left from the harbour as quickly as possible. Quam celerime. 
very quickly. That superlative adverb, very well done. Jonathan, the end.